Um, in the next example here, what I have here is 15 times ln e to x. Again, if you guys can remember, the first thing always when we're solving exponential or logarithmic is to isolate. When it's logarithmic, you, ex you isolate the logarithm. Um, when it's exponential, you're going to isolate the exponent. All right? So here, you can see that my logarithm is being multiplied by 15. So to undo multiplying by 15, I will divide by 15. So therefore, I have ln of x equals 2. Now, to go ahead and solve for this, Sierra, again, we want to rewrite this in exponential form. Now, this gets a lot of students because they see the ln and they forget why we use ln. We use ln to represent that the base is e. All right? And again, having a scientific calculator is going to be very helpful for this. So now, if I rewrite this in exponential form, e squared is equal to x. So now, all I simply need to do is take e squared. Well, again, you're going to have to go to your scientific calculator, and there should be an e raised to an x power or e raised to like a carrot. And I'll just take e, thank you, e raised to the second power equals 7.38. And when I round that, x is equal to 7.39.